We welcome the creators of Five Second Films. This collection of a collective of comedians has gone from a USC dorm room to over 100 million views on YouTube five seconds at a time. For the past five years, they have released five new sketches a week without missing a single weekday. That's over 1,300 videos. Now they have their sights set on the big screen with their Kickstarter-funded feature Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. Hey, <laughs> it's show business. Slated to film in January. They are Brian Fre Ferenzi. Yes. I got that. Kelsey Gunn. Gunn. And Michael Rousselet. Whoa. Oh. You got it. <laughs> hey, three for with, three. Right. How did Five Second Films start? Uh, well, it was in spring of 2005. Uh, my friends and I, we were in the dorm rooms at USC, and we weren't feeling particularly challenged by the program. Just in our freshman year, they didn't give us cameras yet. But this was around the digital camera boom, so everyone had these digital cameras running around shooting their own stuff. So we wanted to challenge ourselves, and we heard about this Cadillac contest at the time where they let fans submit five-second commercials for their car. And we didn't ever enter that contest, but we thought, five seconds, that's something. And five's always been like a lucky number of mine, and I thought, well, what, what can you do in five? We didn't know either. And um, so we went and gave it a shot, and the first five-second film that we ever shot was called Chivalry is Dead, and we got my friend Lauren, and she's walking up the staircase. She's carrying her big cello case and her backpack, and she sees a door closing, and she goes, hold the door, and it's just a guy standing on the other end of the door, and he lets it shut, and he just goes, nope. And that's it. Chivalry is dead. And it, from there, like, we learned to start adding more and more jokes to it and bringing more and more to the concept. And how did you come aboard, Kels? Um, it was funny. I actually did you a film. You were students, too? I actually was one of the few students that didn't go to USC. I actually am from Seattle, and I was just here trying to be a struggling actor and trying to be only a struggling <laughs> actor. I didn't want to be successful. <laughs> um, Kelsey, you've got a big part for you. No, <laughs> I can't. It's I can't. really hard to try to be struggling. I, um, I ended up meeting uh, a gentleman, uh, Mike Lee Peter, and he cast me in an independent film he was doing, Chronicles of a Love Unfound. And like about six months to a year later, I get a call on the phone randomly, and he's like, Kelsey, we need a funny girl. Come be a funny girl. And I was like, dude, I'm not funny. I am in. I'm a serious actress. And he was like, no, come. Yeah. And so I went, and then I just never left. Yeah, we wouldn't let it go. And how did you come aboard? Uh, I met Brian at USC and uh, in a screenwriting class, and he said, hey, I, I'm doing this thing called Five Second Films. And I'm like, what? It doesn't make any sense. What can you do in five seconds? Mm -hmm. And he showed me some films, and I was like, I'm never going to leave your life. Now, how does it work? I just did a couple things <laughs> yeah. with you. Now, when do, when do these five-second things, when do you send it? When do, how does it work? I'm trying to keep the pacing about that fast. I got it. We have five seconds. What makes you so delicious? Great. And because I get a reaction shot? Okay. Uh, just you kind of like approving. He says, okay, it's, okay. it's the water. Why five seconds? Why aren't you more successful? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> yes. You want some more? I'll give you one of my own, right? Yeah. Love it. Do it. This show is a hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is amazing. You want me to get a medium? Mode? Will you guys just shut up? <laughs> well, we uh, meet on Sundays, and um, well, that's when every we're week. Every, every week. Every we week. We meet on Sundays. We pitch the jokes, and we you know rewrite them, and then we just shoot five on that day, and then we release them as the days go. Yeah, we cut them and send them out throughout the week. It's definitely a you machine. You send them out online? Yeah, mm -hmm. we, yeah, we post them on our website and on uh, our YouTube, YouTube channel. Now, how, how do you make money? <laughs> how do we indeed? Oh, uh, there's, there's a place in the treasury where they well, print it. And... it. It's hard, obviously, to monetize videos that are so short. Usually the sweet spot for a video where you can put nice big pre-roll ads on it are like a minute to three minutes um, or longer if you so choose. Five seconds, that's hard to put an ad on. Um, right, the Cadillac bit. <laughs> but but uh, what we did do was we built up a following because we were so reliable. We've never missed a day. And so we built up a fan base that liked our voice. And then to a certain extent, you know, once you roll out merchandise like shirts, stickers, things that people want, that they want to buy so that they can support you. Now you brought a whole troop of people. How many people are involved in this? We're about 12. A functioning 12. 14. It's yeah. kind of uh, is this a living for you, or you all do other things? Oh, we all do, we other, all do things. other things. Yeah. yeah, I cut daytime promos for like Ellen DeGeneres and stuff like that. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? I'm an actor. <laughs> Freelance, uh, everything. But every Sunday. Every, every Sunday. Sunday. Our church. That's our church, That's our Larry. Church. Yes. At a church. <laughs> no, no, no. It is our church. It is, it is our, our church. church. Where do you do it at? Um, at the Maltman House, where very sickly about four of the guys live at right yeah. now, and it's been 
become basically our production yeah. house. Does this have anything to do with attention deficit disorder? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. We have created it. I well, think. Yeah, yeah, we're responsible for it. Well, if you think about it, when somebody shows you a video online, they're like, oh, watch this video, and it's three, four minutes long, you're like, oh, I don't have time. But, you know, five seconds is the perfect gag, and so mm -hmm. our you model know, is when wasting time. It, it's much. an almost impossible time to be funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is. I know. Now, we just did three bits. Mm -hmm. They're pretty funny. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But to think of that, to do it every week, you do, or you gather on Sunday and you do five, mm -hmm. how many you do? Uh, five a week, we get, is it 14? I mean, you do five every Sunday. Five every Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Goes, never, one goes out every day. Never yeah. Monday through Friday. Monday mm -hmm. through Friday. We're basically yeah. a live action comic strip. Uh, and once you're on, they're there forever, so mm -hmm. people can watch any ones mm -hmm. you've yeah. done. Yeah, we got them all up there. We Who have about up? three and a half hours worth of five second films. Do you all, does any one of the group come up with what you're gonna do? <laughs> Anyone has ideas? Yeah, we, we all have ideas, and I think there's definitely like, certain people have, like Brian is like a gateway to massive amounts of ideas. And so is Rousselé for his, <laughs> he's he's not, notorious for totally pitching nonstop pitching. It's a hit and miss, you know. Yeah. Ninety nine jokes, and then one of them works. And you time everything to five seconds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now let's switch gears. We'll talk about the feature length film. Yeah. It's called Dude Bro Party Massacre Three. What the hell does that mean? Okay. <laughs> um, well, growing up as we did at USC, which is a very big fraternity culture, I think that sort of seeped into our bloodstream. And so we wanted to make a movie that kind of sends up and satirizes. Um, not just fraternity culture, but also the 80s slasher flicks like Slumber Party Massacre, Sleepaway Camp, Friday the 13th, all that stuff. So it's going to be very funny and wild and off the wall. And it was a movie that could not have been made without Kickstarter. That's That was really... Kickstarter is... Uh, uh, it's a crowdfunding, uh, online oh, crowdfunding. People contribute. They donate, yeah. How much have you raised? We raised a quarter of a million dollars on Kickstarter and mm -hmm. found a uh, angel investor who is uh, matching that. So half a million dollar budget yep. to make this insane, mm -hmm. how many second, 5,400 second film? It's a 5,400 second film. Which is how many, what is uh, that? 90 minutes. <laughs> 90 minutes. <Yes. laughs> who's the star? Uh, well, he couldn't be here today, but Alec Owen, who's part of our group, is the star of the film. Um, it, but it, it really, the star is all of us. Yeah, we're and all just our crazy it's brand of Kevin awesome. Smith personally donated mm -hmm. to this. He was on our show. Yeah, great guy. He was attracted to this. Yes. Yeah, he, believer of independent cinema. Are all Pat 12, Oswald as well. Mm -hmm. Are all 12 of you in the film? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the film will be called Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. There's no one or two. We're just jumping right into three, because that's when the trilogy, you know, that's when horror films get really exciting and ridiculous. It's usually the third one. If this becomes enormously successful, takes off mm -hmm. other feature films, will you abandon five second films? Well, um, we decided on. Uh... Say so you no longer struggle. <laughs> well, I don't, think, I I don't do. think we could ever. We can take a break, but I don't think we can ever escape it from our blood because like, we'll always have ideas that we just want to shoot. It's just yeah. fun. Okay, we end our little show here with a game called If You Only Knew. I just throw these questions out. Okay. Your favorite uh, five second f uh, film? Um, late for Work. Oh, fuck! Ooh, um, pregnancy test. Uh, family heirloom. What happened on yours? Um, on pregnancy test. <laughs> oh, no. oh, um, it, it's, uh, I'm sitting on a toilet and I'm taking a pregnancy test and it comes up positive and, um, and I say, oh, I've always wanted an abortion. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I've always wanted an abortion. <laughs> I like that. Oh, <laughs> uh, family Heirloom uh, uh, stars David Koechner, and um, he's sitting across a little child. One day I'll pass this on to you. Just like your mental illness? Yep, just like my mental illness. Funny. <laughs> uh, was there a video you couldn't believe and it became a big hit? <sighs> yeah. Uh, Planking. Uh, there was a planking. fad on. Yeah, there was a fad online. It was really annoying where people would plank. They would lay like a plank of wood over items, and it was really stupid. Yeah, objects. Yeah, it was really, I don't know why it was catching on. So I said, guys, I want to do this video where somebody planks, and then I kick them in the balls. And they said, Rusley, it's not funny. It's just a kick in the ball joke. It's like, but I just want to do it because I hate planking. And I released it online, and it's got like a million something. Took off. It took, I don't, people like getting kicked in the balls. Who was your favorite five second guest star? Pat, Pat Oswald. Oswald. Pat Oswald. Pat Oswald. Weird Al Yankovic as well. Oh. Incredible. Julia How about Larry King? Larry King. Larry King. See my he attention was okay. span. He was no, all right. <laughs> Who's your dream guest star? Louis C.K. Mm, 
she took the words out of my mouth. Sorry. Mind. Yeah. Let me see. Kate. Jump the gun. <laughs> Favorite movie of all time? Ah, oh, City Lights, Charlie Chaplin. I, I don't even know if I could answer that question. Too many. I pass. There's just too many. There's Stand a... by me. Ooh. Oh, Sentimental oh, reasons. What makes you laugh every time? I got this one. <laughs> the thing that makes me laugh every time is when a little kid is about to shoot a hoop in basketball and an adult just smacks it out of his hands. Every time, I'm sorry, smacks I don't know ball? why. Yeah, <laughs> smacks the ball right out of his hands. I just love it. It makes you laugh. It just makes me laugh. It's like you the are, kid's uh, trying so hard. So you're a sadist. Yes, I am. <laughs> and finally, what's your proudest moment? Uh, speaking to you, Larry. Yeah. Uh, I'm honored to have you all here. I, think, I wish you luck with the film, Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. three. When it comes out, will you come on? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. So clips. I want to see an advance oh. of it. Yes. Yeah. And if you got a part, I'll be in it. Yeah, we'll, we'll oh. kill you, Larry. Larry, would you, you like to movie? die? Oh, you know, I've never died in a movie. Oh, oh could we kill you in the movie? Yeah. Yeah. I've been in 23 movies. Uh -huh. I always play myself, yeah. except in Shrek, uh -huh. where I was. Yeah. 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 And Larry B. King, I was a B. Mm -hmm. But in Shrek, I was the ugly stepsister. Doris, the ugly sepsis. But I've never been killed. So figure out a scene, I'll be killed. We Larry, we will do this. We are honored oh my to massacre Stabbed you. or shot? Um, probably we stabbed. Just... Guns just aren't interesting. Yeah, they aren't. Mm. Yeah. And they're so every day. Yeah. 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 It becomes something After really all, unique. It's America. <laughs> <laughs> what would be shocking about a gun? Thanks to my friends, my guests, they're now my friends, yes. Brian Ferenzi, Kelsey Gunn, and Michael Russele of Five Second Films. Catch them every weekday on fivesecondfilms.com and on YouTube. And be sure to watch for Dude Bro Party Massacre 3 in 2014. And you can find me on Twitter at King's Things. And I'll see you next time. They're gonna kill me. <laughs> yeah, they kill me, I'll do it. Oh, yeah. God, Larry. honor. <laughs> Thank you.